So you're asking, why is my divine masculine angry? Why does he gaslight? Why does he maybe have a temper and raise his voice? And why does he shut down unless I'm doing things the way that he wants and his logical mind when I have so many gifts as a feminine to give? So you are not alone. This is a cosmic, a holographic map and mirror that we are all breaking through as ascension beings. So the divine masculine, for many reasons, is made of fire, has anger. It's one of his aspects. And as women, as feminines, we can acquire this amazing power and tool. And on some level, there are many positive, empowering aspects to this medicine when used wisely. So a disclaimer, as I share and unpack why there has been so much fire and anger and war and yelling in the household and angry dad energy, I also want to share that there is so much power and love and magic in its potential. Let's dive in to what is going on. There are so many masculines, especially the archetype of the conscious man, the highly conscious man that's rising right now. And he's stepping into his power. He is creating his soul-based business. He is doing things from the light. He is moving out of the money systems that were given to him by Cabal. He's breaking out of the old systems the financial systems, the corporate systems, the social systems, the matrix, the idea of what a man is supposed to be or what the masculine is supposed to be. And he's creating his own divine template coming from the higher power. It's not easy. And there is a lot of pressure to leave a cult culture, to leave his family and the group think and the cultural think and the stability that the old systems used to promise that is not there anymore. But there's this nice illusion. If I just cling to the inflating money systems, if I just go to the old universities that are teaching corrupt things. So it's very challenging. There's a lot of stress that the divine masculine is facing right now. And what he needs, obviously, if there's stress is relaxation. So that's where the feminine can come in. Babe, can I get you a hot towel, a foot bath, a facial? Can I give you that nurturing feminine space? I know this can be challenging when your man or your masculine comes home and he is frazzled and he is kind of a dick. And what he does need is to come back into the love frequency. And the more the feminine can say, I see you, I see that this illusion of the anger and the pain and the stress, the residue is not you. I see beyond that while she sets a boundary with it and says, I see the residue. I see that you're speaking to me in a way that expresses that you have some pain. And I want to acknowledge that you must be angry. By the way, these are the tools that I use with my five-year-old. It's okay to be angry, but we don't bop. We don't yell. We don't hurt. So she acknowledges his pain. She takes away the sword in his hand, puts it down and offers her love while she's setting a boundary with her sacred no. This isn't okay to treat mommy like this. This isn't okay to treat your friend like this. You cannot bop, you cannot bite, you cannot kick. There's also something that's so important to understand right now is there is a deep healing going on with him, or shall I say a conflict that has not yet been resolved that he has with his divine father. This happens within the divine masculine through our own father blueprint, our biological fathers, our father figures, the patriarch within the religions that we grew up with, whatever you call the father, maybe on many different levels. And we grew up to believe that we needed the angry dad, but we also hated the angry dad. We hated it because he gave us those codes. We feel it within ourselves. We don't like that. We self reject. It hurts. And we're angry at him because we want the pain to stop. So there's this, I hurt myself. I hurt you. I hate this. I hate myself conundrum. And the divine masculine is still in somewhat of a battle because the old patriarch is saying, well, you haven't set up 
your empire yet. I have many, many decades, tens of thousands, millions maybe of years of ruling this earth with the old systems. And these are based on the dark masculine of greed or suppression or secrecy. It is not based on one of balance with the feminine in nature. That is what we are stepping into in this golden era. And that is where the enlightened sun, the solar flash is coming into play. I'll talk more about that in future videos. But as we shift into this beautiful time of ascension, that is not easy at all. We must heal our relationship with the dark father. And this means coming into a space of gratitude and deep understanding and also a processing of the old emotions of anger of pain of suffering of hurt of feeling unheard so this is where we feminines can hold space for our divine masculines we can listen to him we can encourage him to be listened to by say a great therapist to go into meditations and to sit and have a chat with their dad divine father biological father all of it is good and really get to a core wound healing, what we call the sacred wound, the sacred father wound, and sit and understand where he as a boy was not loved, appreciated, and seen. Where maybe he was abused, where maybe his power was taken away, maybe in a very big way, it could have been a big form of abuse, or it could have been something as little as my dad went to work and he didn't listen, and when I stepped into power, he would just ignore me, or he would subtly energetically or verbally put me down and so there's this core wound in the divine masculine that needs to be released rituals are very important for this at this time it's also important for men to get together and share their feelings to put their swords down and to cry and hug together and it's terrifying and that's where they need their women and their divine feminines to hold them and encourage them and say you can do this and it's safe and it's okay so if you have a divine masculine who is raging, he is actually crying for his father and mother. He is actually covering up his fear with a layer of rage. He is actually crying. He's scared. He doesn't know yet how to step into his power. So he needs encouragement and he needs to have a reminder and an acknowledgement of how powerful he is, how lovable he is, and also how he's not quite in alignment when he's doing this, and this is not going to get him there. So I'm really proud of some of my clients and friends who are setting boundaries with their divine masculine saying, you need to sign up for a nervous system regulation course. Don't yell at me. You need to, if you're going to be in this relationship, I ask you to go to therapy. I ask you to, to go to a men's circle encouraging our men to get help, encouraging our divine masculines to sit in that meditation space, to connect with others in a sacred space, to connect through the pain. It's not easy. But saying the sacred no is the only way to get to the sacred union and the sacred yes of healing and ascension. Thank you for liking, subscribing to the channel. I'm Dr. Amanda Noel from Bali, the love alchemist. I will see you soon.